Welcome to the All-Star Math Video Tutor. This is Mrs. Dorless, and the topic of this lesson is manipulating formulas. Which what we're going to do is we're going to use real-world formulas to solve for different parts of the formula. Now we have been used to solving within the formula, like finding how far something is or checking to see what, how long something will take. But what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to concentrate on just manipulating the variables, moving them around so that we can solve for a particular one. Now some formulas that you may be familiar with may be distance, circumference, average, or even the perimeter of an object. Now we're going to set out to do this and don't panic, it will work out okay. So what we want to do first is we want to set up our equation and solve for the given variable. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the same steps for solving multi-step equations, which is, for example, using the inverse operation. The opposite of adding would be subtracting. The opposite of multiplying would be dividing. And remembering what we do to one side, we're going to do to the other. So let's take a look at an example here. We're going to look at distance. Now, distance formula is set up this way, where D represents distance, R is the rate, and T is the time. Now, normally this is the way we're used to seeing it. We would substitute something in for rate and time. We'd find out how far something went. But what if we were trying to set it up for the rate? How would this equation change? Well, let's take a look at this equation. And since we want this R to remain, what we're trying to get rid of is the T. And since we're multiplying by t, in order to get rid of t on this side, we would divide both sides by t. What this would do is allow us to simplify because t over t equals 1, which would cancel that out. And then we would be left with here an r on the right side. And on the left side here, distance divided by time. We have successfully rewritten the equation for rate. In other words, we have manipulated this formula. Let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at circumference of a circle. We know that the formula for circumference of a circle is c equals 2 pi r, where c again is circumference. Pi is represented by the number 22 over 7. And r stands for the radius, the particular radius of the circle. So from the center of the circle on out, that would represent the radius of a circle. Now, this is all good information if we're trying to find circumference, but what if we're trying to find the radius? Well, since we're trying to find the radius and we don't know any other numbers, we're going to set this up. We're going to take this equation, and since we want to keep the r, we don't need the 2 or the pi. So we take a look at what's going on in between, and since they're both being multiplied, we can do the opposite or the inverse operation. The inverse of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. And the inverse of multiplying by pi is dividing by pi. OK, once we do that, we can do some canceling. The 2 over 2 equals 1. Pi over pi equals 1. And we'll bring it on down here. We'll end up with just the r, which is the radius, which is what we were trying to get by itself. And on the left here, we'll have circumference divided by, and I'm going to rearrange this. I'm going to put the number in front, followed by the variable, in this instance being pi. So in order to solve for radius, we would take the circumference and divide by 2 pi. We've manipulated this formula, so it is set up for the radius. Let's take a look at one more that's a little bit more complicated that involves more than just multiplying. Let's talk about the perimeter of a rectangle. We know that a rectangle, in order to find perimeter, we need to add up all four sides going all the way around. The formula for that is we take twice the length and twice the width. Now, this is great, it's set up for perimeter, but what if I wanted to solve for the width? So what I want to do is I want to get only the w alone. I don't want the 2 with it, and I don't want any of this stuff over here. So let's take this one step at a time and apply our multi-step equation methods to solve this. So the opposite of adding 2l would be subtracting 2l. So let's subtract 2l from both sides and start to simplify. We'll bring that down so we have perimeter minus twice the length equals twice the width. 
So now we're at this point, and again, since we're solving for W, we just want a single W. So we take a look at what's going on with the W and the 2 is that it's multiplying in between. So we're going to divide the right side by 2 and the entire left side by 2. Once we do that, we can simplify 2 over 2 on this side, and there's nothing to simplify on the left. So we're going to leave that alone as the perimeter take away twice the length divided by 2 equals the width. We have now solved for the width. We have manipulated the formula so it's ready to go if we needed to substitute in values. That is the end of this all-star math video lesson.